Okay, uh, YouTubers, uh, since the uh, dry canning video went over so good, I'm going to go back over some more dry canning tips. A lot of y'all had questions. I saw in the comments there were a lot of different ways. Uh, some of y'all had dry canned goods, and uh, all of that is totally fine. Uh, like I said in the video, find the method that works for you. Uh, the method that you like to use and use that method as long as it works uh, But in the previous video the only thing I had did uh, Was a rice so I wanted to show you some variety and answer some questions again. I've got some more rice here in these uh, We have put in everyone's favorite breakfast cereal in this uh, that would be honey nut flavored uh, I have added some veggie rotini pasta in here these are quarts of dehydrated milk. Uh, there is going to be about 10 pounds of sugar in this batch. I have added also some chocolate flavored breakfast cereal. Uh, we have everyone's favorite, the saltine crackers. And that is about one full plastic a bag of crackers in that jar. Alright. I also have some graham crackers in here. Again, that is one full plastic bundle of graham crackers you can generally fit in a quart jar. Uh, now some of the questions that I had were time and using different sizes of jars. Uh, these jars are proportionate for me and the number of people that I'm trying to feed. Uh, if you start using gallon jars or smaller jars, uh, that may be proportionate to the number of people that you're trying to feed. Uh, but cup wise and serving wise, uh, you can use one of these jars up within a couple of days. It doesn't go stale or bad so you're not losing any product. So size your jar according to the number of people that you're trying to feed because if you got 50 people, uh, obviously, you don't want to be eating out of quart jars. You're going to need something larger. Another question seemed to be on moisture. I do have some beans in here. There are products, basically all products, will put off some moisture whenever you heat it beyond the boiling point. Even this dehydrated milk here will have some moisture content in it. Now, the fresher your product is, uh, say these beans are really fresh and were just uh, sent in and produced and run through the mill and everything within the last couple of weeks uh, These beans are going to be really wet uh, So you may tend to see some condensation form inside of the jar uh, That's okay uh, But if you're running a big load of beans or something that you figure is probably has a lot of moisture content in it You just may want to lengthen the time that you actually run it in the oven because all you're doing is evaporating the moisture out of that jar. As soon as that jar gets over 200, 210 degrees, it's going to start evaporating the water out of that product. And that's what you're seeing on those jars is the condensation from this product getting hot and that water vaporizing off. So if you're going to be running a big load of beans or something you know is going to have moisture in it, just extend your run time out to maybe two hours and everything should be okay. Uh, I've never had a problem with beans and moisture in there. Uh, within a couple of days, all of that moisture will wick back into the product and it will be okay. It's not going to form mold or anything inside of the jar. At least I have not had any do that up to this point. Cereals, breakfast stuff, you're okay as long as it doesn't have marshmallows in it. Uh, things like uh, that could melt. As long as it's just a consistent single product, you should be okay. Again, the pasta will probably show a little moisture in it, but that's okay. It will wick back into the product. A lot of y'all had uh, mentioned taking the jars off, canning without the jars in the oven and adding the lids later. Uh, that's not how I was taught, so I don't know if that method works or not. Uh, exactly how you see the method in my dry canning video uh, back earlier on my channel, please go check it out if you haven't watched. Uh, this is by far the best way uh, to preserve dry goods as far as I'm concerned. Uh, so go back and check out my dry canning video if you want all of the specifics on how to dry can uh, dry products.
but I want to get the lids on these that answered a few questions if you have any more questions please just ask down in the comments uh, try to go back and answer all the questions uh, at least acknowledge that uh, you commented on the video I appreciate all you guys watching uh, I'm up over 400 now I really appreciate that uh, like I said earlier we're gonna have another drawing at uh, 500 uh, so keep watching uh, one of these videos here uh, I'm gonna make coming up uh, we will uh, enter the drawing. It'll be for the entering of the drawing for the 500 subscribers. Uh, hopefully it won't take too long to get there. Uh, but I'm going to put the lids on these, get them in the oven. Again, it's uh, 235 degrees uh, for about 90 minutes on these quart jars. And that time and temperature will evaporate water and also the time heats the product consistently all the way through the jar. Uh, if you only leave them in there 15-20 minutes, uh, this rice is not going to get the 235 degrees in the center of that jar. Uh, again, all of this will kill uh, any bugs or anything that are in there. Uh, my jars are clean before I start this process, uh, so I'm just going to wipe off the tops here from any powder and uh, get the lids on them, get them in the oven, and uh, whenever they come back out of the oven, I'll come back and uh, show you what I got. Thanks, everybody. Okay, here we go. Hour and 30 minutes, 235 degrees. You can see it in there, but... Everything is in there. Hour and a half. Don't put the lids on too tight, guys. We'll be back. Okay, everybody, here we go. The uh, oven just went off, so I'm going to pull all these out of here and show you what I got. No moisture in the beans. I've had them a few weeks, so they were probably pretty dry. No moisture in the pasta. Again, I've had it on the shelf a little while, so it was probably dry. We've all seen how the rice does. Sugar. Dehydrated milk. <coughs> Rice. Sugar. Milk. I don't know if you can see that or not, but some of that may brown a little on the bottom. It's totally fine. It's just from the heat of the oven, uh, but uh, down there on the bottom. Mashed potatoes tend to do that. You might see it in flour. All sugar. Sugar. some of the uh, chocolate cereal there's some of the honey nut cereal rice and cereal 
Forget that half a turn on those jars. Here's the saltine crackers. There's the ground crackers. I got three that didn't uh, make it into that batch. Let me see if I can get you off of here. I'll set them out here and let them cool. But uh, again, uh, everybody, anything dry, uh, you can can it up. All your little favorite snacks, uh, goldfish, crackers, Nabisco treats, uh, all of that stuff is cannibal, dry cannon. It's the way to go. Appreciate y'all guys watching. Hope you enjoyed. Please check out the other video on uh, dry cannon for the full method on how to do it. Please hit that like button. Doesn't cost you anything. Leave us a comment down below. Uh, we'll be back for some more uh, preparedness stuff. Thanks for watching, guys. Appreciate it.